Hey cunts, don't forget to click the subscribe button. There are no secrets, there are only mysteries. Why, of all people to try to fuck around with, why they pick me is beyond my comprehension. But on that happy note, many of you, 13 of you to be exact, uh, went to quarantine. I applaud you for that. If you had done that much effort in your careers, you wouldn't be here. Does everybody, first of all, how many people in the audience have English as a second language? Okay. If you had put that much effort in your own careers, you wouldn't be here. Most of you know more about me than I know. Because you've spent, this is an exaggeration, your career is Google fucking people. And how's your program worked out? It hasn't, right? You would be here. If your program had worked out, and I often say it, because the, um, and when you, by the way, normally I wait to the end of the seminar to say this, but I'm going to say it at the beginning. The people that ask the most questions normally fail. Does everybody's English good enough to understand what I just said? The people that ask the most questions fail. Does anybody not understand that? Number two, <clears throat> when you're saying something and I correct you and you start, your answer is, but I'm not interested. Don't even say the rest of the words. But what you're really saying is, but Mr. Penn, you don't understand. I understand. It says you're a, 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 a coward. Remember, the system works. If it doesn't work, it's because of you. It's because of you. After we have dinner, we will retire, if that's the right word, here. And I will sit up here, and everybody gets seated, and go to the bathroom, have a drink, bring the drink. And then I will uh, pontificate about your homework you have tonight. You have a homework every night except graduation night. Every night. If you don't turn in your homework tomorrow morning, don't come to class. Does everybody understand that? If you don't do the motherfucking homework, don't just pack your fucking bags and leave tomorrow morning. There's a method to my madness. This system works because I continue to refine it. I continue to use best of best practices. And, the, um, and I'm often asked, the, uh, why, why am I hard? Because it works. And tomorrow when I talk a little bit about um, uh, the documentary and the uh, feature article that's coming out about me, which gave me time to reflect upon my past, and not to sound spir spiritual or anything, but the... Um, Several things, and I'll talk about them tomorrow, several things came out extremely, um, even more clear to me, and I'm the one that's lived it the last 75 years. The system works because it, it, it just works. And the good news is that very few other people are using it. Um, and the bad news is you're using it because you're not going to follow the steps. I, had, I saw a few of you this, this evening and this afternoon and a couple of you said, well, why do you keep saying we're not going to do it, Mr. Pena? Because you're not. You're one of them. I bet my testicles on it. And I'm very close to my testicles. You're not. Why? Because you're afraid. Why? Because you've had piss poor role models. I mean, I would rather have you had a bad role model than no role model. And as the seminar goes on during the week, you'll better under appreciate what I mean. Better you had a bad role model than no role model. Because you have nothing to judge against. At least the bad role model knows I don't want to be like that. And most of you are here because um, you had nourishing mothers. I, I had a Freudian slip earlier with one of the kids today. I said... Uh, 
I didn't use the word nourishing. I, uh, what was the word I used? But nourishing mothers don't get you across the goal line. Right now we're raising a, a little championship bulldog pup. And uh, the, um, and uh, my wife and I have two different uh, uh, methodologies of raising things. Mine's hard, harsh. Hers is nourishing. My wife wants the dog to love her. I realize dogs are pack animals. I don't want our dogs to love me. I only want them to do what the fuck I tell them to do when I tell them to do it. Otherwise, why have a fucking dog or a cat or, or cats are different. I mean, trying to raise cats is a, that's a whole other subject, which I'm not an expert. Although we've had cats too. We, we raised four or five dogs and three cats together. No problem. If they're raised as little kitties and puppies together. You try to bring in a, a grown cat and, well, it, I mean, it's fur and scratching. Um, the, um, every night we'll have the homework and, um, uh, you will send it to Kim in the morning on her email address, which you all have. Um, and then I read it, I, I go over it at lunchtime. I don't have lunch with you. I don't have breakfast with you. I don't even want to have dinner with you. Sally makes me come here tonight. To me, you're just a number. Familiarity breeds contempt. And by reading your, your, your paperwork, you would rather be liked than effective. Every single person in this room. You would rather be liked than effective. And the second uh, truism is that you always want to know the why. And hardly any of you have ever asked the how. We will spend no time explaining to you the why. I will only take time explaining or pontificating vis-a-vis -vis the how. Does everybody understand that, for those of you, that English isn't a primary language? It doesn't make a shit. Why? Why did the Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941? It doesn't, make, it doesn't really matter, does it? Why did the, North, uh, the uh, Chinese enter the Korean War, come across the DMZ uh, to help the uh, Koreans... Uh, uh, and uh, to uh, drive uh, the U.S. to a stalemate, more or less, and the war's still not over. Doesn't matter why, does it? Why did the dipshit that the, uh, you sleep with, that you call your significant other, why did she let you fuck her? God only knows why. I don't. <laughs> but the important thing is the how, because you do get to fuck somebody. We will spend little or no time on why. So remember. People that ask the most questions normally fail. And the other tip, if there is one, is the people that take the, the best and most copious notes, copious mean detailed notes, have a higher probability of success. Because you're going to not have anybody to ask after you leave here, meatheads. And it will become obvious to me even though I gave you a lot of stuff to go over before you got here. I already know. I will be able, by the first five questions you ask me tomorrow, I'll be able to tell who went over the material and who didn't. Because so far, the questions that you asked me of the people that I saw this afternoon on one-on-one -on -one are, are all answered on the website. All answered on the website. The, um, we're blessed because we had this albatross of a building to ch pure serendipity, as, as, as Sally would attest, two or three years ago, we were going to dig it out and make, put a swimming pool in here. Um, but the bottom line is we have, we're able to cope with this, this COVID thing, as tragic as it is, but from every tragedy, tragedy comes from every chaos comes order. And because we're set up this way, and because we corona the old girl up the, with bathrooms and bedrooms, and we reconfigured stuff so everybody could have their own private little place to stay, um, and because we have this, 
were able to function more or less um, full capacity. Although we'd normally have about six more people than we have, right, right, Sal? About six more people, but we don't have enough bathrooms to, um, so where you don't have to share. We're, now we, we're in a non-share situation. Um, and so we're, we're here to stay. I'm going to make some announcements tomorrow vis-a-vis -vis 2021, 2021, what's going to happen and what's not going to happen about the uh, QLA seminars and myself. Uh, and I think the slide's called housekeeping. We're going to uh, clear up some uh, myths uh, uh, about how we're going to move forward. But, and you're going to hear between, depending on how slow or how quick the class is, we will have between 12 and 16 or 17 webinars this week with kids in the field. You three from three months ago, you from five months ago, you from five weeks ago, where they're going to be on these screens, where they're going to tell you how it is in the real world. Now, some of you have already started building your teams, and you did it all wrong. Do we have anybody from March here? No. Okay. Um, and that's inherently what happens. If you started, you don't need to be here. You wasted your money. Because I have nothing else to sell you, I don't give a shit. There's no refunds. I think it's, uh, it's amusing to me. It's amusing to me. Just as I find it amusing that we're going to chase down and fuck some old people, unfortunately, because of their stupid kids. Uh, EJ has attempted to show you how to use the mics. Now, if we had a $100 fine for every time you misuse the mic, there'd be no mistakes. But I know you just went in one ear and out the other ear. I know that already. But that's why you're here. The good news, or the, the good news is it went in one ear and out the other ear. The bad news is if you had, if all the information heretofore that you had studied about creating wealth or uh, uh, doing deals, whatever, however you want to call it, had done the same, going one ear and out the other ear, you'd be better off. But unfortunately, the stuff that resonated with you was the stuff that led you to believe wrongfully that it's easy. The kids that you're going to hear in the next few days are all going to tell you it's possible, but they're also going to say most of you will fail. Because they're telling you the truth. Dinner is served, gentlemen. <laughs>